My name is Midi Samimi Birch. I am the owner of The Simple Knot Inc., which is a micro wedding venue in Guelph. So in the last 10 years or so, I've been working in the hospitality industry. I've had the opportunity to work at some of the best venues and restaurants, which really helped me build those skills and building blocks to ultimately open my own venue, which has been the goal. So it's been amazing to see how much I've learned from them and provide that exceptional service that I've had others come um, and teach me. I think at this point, the biggest thing that motivates me is the endless possibilities. I know that I can create this first one, which I never thought I was gonna be able to do, but now I can see it expanding and growing bigger and being able to provide an option, a different option to couples is something that really motivates me um, and giving people the opportunity to get married without sacrificing any of the service. I think the biggest thing is providing accessible and affordable weddings to couples has been really a positive change. Our goal is to become a staple in the industry and especially in the last few years, it's been really nice knowing that again, we give people a different option of, of getting married and having something outside of the traditional ways to do it. The goal is to continue making weddings simplified, but before we're a wedding venue, we're actually a part of the small business community. So our biggest goal in the next upcoming years is to continue working with other businesses and other local prof nonprofits to, that are also trying to create change in the industry and uh, work together. My name is Kim Passmore and I'm a partner at SW Irvine and Associates here in Guelph. Leadership and professional growth is really important to me. On the leadership side of things in my career, I'm a co-manager of the Agricultural Division at SW Irvine and Associates. In this role, I mentor numerous candidate members of the Appraisal Institute of Canada, as well as numerous co-op students from the University of Guelph in the Real Estate and Housing Program. On the volunteer side of things, until last week, I was the Provincial President for the Appraisal Institute of Canada, Ontario. In that role, I represented 2,600 appraisal members across the province. On the professional development side of things, I'm an active Guelph Chamber member, whether it's attending the State of the City Address, which is one of my personal favorite events, an economic update, or a Business After Five event. I'm an active Canadian Association of Farm Advisors member for Wellington County, which allows me the professional development opportunities of attending monthly meetings, of presentations from other industry professionals, as well as affording me the opportunity to provide presentations on the agricultural industry to my peers and other industry professionals. I think just the general understanding that you'll never know everything. I consider myself to be an eternal student and I love having the opportunity to learn more and understand more and then being able to pass that down either to candidates, juniors, students, or anywhere I can. My name is Amanda Kavchak and I am the Director of Marketing and Community Engagement at the Children's Foundation of Guelph and Wellington. Within the last four years of work at the Children's Foundation, I've really taken a step towards increasing my marketing and my brand awareness, um, especially to ensure that we're meeting the needs in the community consistently. And being the lead of the community engagement team has really given me a chance to step up into my leadership role, uh, leading people like our volunteer and events coordinator, uh, many of our volunteers, and even our Canada Summer Job Placements. Working for an organization like the Children's Foundation, it's really easy to want to continue to make positive change. Um, as I see it every day, we continue to change the lives of children and youth in our community. And for me, it's really important to continue to raise the awareness, um, whether that's increasing our brand awareness, increasing our fundraising within the community so we can continue to help children and youth thrive. And alongside with that, it's really important to me to continue to inspire our younger generation to really look at that work-life balance. That's something that, as someone who is really passionate about company culture, I have found the conversation around work-life balance over the last few years to be very interesting and very exciting. And while we continue to make sure that we are hitting all of our targets and raising our fundraising goals, it's also important to make sure we're investing in our team and ourselves to make sure we can bring our best selves forward and continue to do the work.